Well, tonight, local leaders in Congress have their own take on the president's address and how his plans for the nation will affect people who live here in western New York. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Morris spoke with our local representatives tonight. That's right, Keith. I just got off the phone with both Congressman Higgins and Collins getting their reactions to tonight's State of the Union. Congressman Higgins impressed with the president's message. Congressman Collins calling the speech disappointing. Collins says he saw the State of the Union as a partisan message, appealing only to Democrats. Democrats, who he said were standing throughout most of the event while their Republican counterparts remained seated. Higgins said the president showed he's willing to appeal to both sides, and he thought that theme resonated throughout the address. Now, one thing both Western New York representatives discussed with me, the president's suggestion to make sure all Americans have paid time off, as well as increase a federal minimum wage, something they both see differently. He wants to tell companies what benefits they have to provide. Uh, this is America where competition works. And, uh, you know, a lot of small businesses are struggling every day under the regulations uh, and, the, and the burdens provided by big government. He wants bigger government, and he wants this one size fits all. If you work full time uh, at the current minimum wage, you make $15,000 for a family of four. Uh, nobody can live on that. And, you know, when we, when we boost wages, we create more demand in the economy. And when more people have purchasing power, more people are buying things. And more people are buying things, more people are making things. Congressman Higgins went on to say the State of the Union is really a group of ideas, and now it's time for Congress to take those ideas and move them forward together. In the studio tonight, Katie Morse, 7 Eyewitness News.